day out here on Old Hickory Lake. But my favorite part about all this, all this free snack, you know. Mm -hmm. There is no chance I would ever try that. I have eaten some weird things in my life. I've eaten probably around 30 dog treats. I've eaten a glue stick. I've eaten chalk. You know, I've tried liquid glue here and there before. Uh, non-toxic. Non-toxic, by the way. Anyways, I mean, that doesn't really change the, change the fact that it's disgusting. Either way, I've eaten all that shit, and I would not eat that shit out of the swamp. It just looks bad. And I know it smells bad, because whenever you're around that shit, it just smells terrible. So, that accumulated with the fucking, the taste of it, and the fact that it's slimy as shit, hell no. So, here's a little baby lumpfish. A lot of people saying that these weren't real, they was fake. Nah, jet tripping. You call that a slurp fish. What is the first thing Inky has ever reacted to that legitimately looks like something from Fortnite? All the other ones before that, it could be like a fucking clothespin, and he'll be like, no, nah, that looks like a med kit. Like, no, it doesn't. That actually looks like a slurp fish from Fortnite, though. That's like creepy as fuck. It looks like it would taste like a blue airhead. Now, I bet it wouldn't. I bet it would taste much worse than that. But it looks appetizing. <laughs> Yo, great video, bro. But why am I in it? Why do you have a cutout of my profile picture of me in a bucket hat taped to your pillow? Like, what is this? I have legitimately nothing to do with the video. When you eat strawberry sour patch kids. What the fuck does that have to do with me? And why is the pillow a very lengthy pillow with my face specifically at the top? If, I swear to God, if you, like, cuddle with that pillow or some shit. Do y'all eat kiwi peels? Let alone, do y'all eat kiwis? I have probably not eaten a kiwi in the last six years. Anyways, the reason I'm bringing this up is because I recently found out that people eat kiwi peels. They are furry. And you're eating the whole peel. Look, somebody took a bite out of that one. I already know I'm gonna have a bunch of kiwi fanatics in my comments like, Joe! I'm a kiwi fanatic. Of course I eat the kiwis. I'm a kiwi head. I'm going to eat the entire thing. <laughs> They're so nutritious. No one's going to comment. Well, now people are going to comment that because I said it. But I was trying to make something so unrealistic that no one would comment it. Uh, but now that I said it, people are going to comment it. If any of y'all take your time out of your day to comment an entire paragraph about how you love kiwis or some bullshit, why? What's the point? They don't look good. I'm not a fan of kiwis. I'm not. They look like limes that got rotten and hairy. So I just finished my first day of my sophomore year in college. And if you're wondering how it went, <laughs> I contemplated dropping out three times today. The first time was when I was in my Zoom philosophy class before my in-person class. Uh, my Wi-Fi started to glitch out and, you know, I couldn't hear anything. Uh, and then it kicked me out of the Zoom meeting. And when it did that, I was like, you know, maybe college isn't for me. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the second time was directly after my Zoom class. I started looking at my, my online asynchronous classes, the ones that um, had no teacher. I just do it online myself. And I was like, wow, this is a lot of work. You know how I don't do this work? By dropping out. And then the third time was when I had my in-person class. And I really had to pee. And I was like, great way to avoid this, dropping out. I didn't actually drop out, though. Poop splatter prank. Oh, my gosh. I never understand these poop pranks on TikTok where they go so in-depth to make it look and smell like poop. At that point, just use poop. And I know that's dirty. But if you want to fully emulsify yourself into the prank, is that the right word? I don't know. Then you just got to use poop. And why are you making a disgusted face before you put the fart spray in? Because right now, at this point in the video, it's literally just water and chocolate syrup. 
What? You joined my life and gained over 200 followers? Join my life now. I never understand these accounts. It's just people lying to get views and followers. But even when they're telling the truth and, and their fucking live gives you 100 followers, it's not even helpful. Because the people in those lives that are following you follow 9,958 fucking people already. So when they follow you, it's not helping your videos because they'll never see them on their following page. If you've ever been in one of those lives, it's just the person that's the host being like, Everybody follow everyone else in this live right now. That's the entire thing. If you ain't at Chick-fil-A, then where you at? my house i just don't think that many people are going to be able to relate to being at chick-fil-a at the current moment if you ain't at ruby tuesdays right now then where are you at oh no one's at ruby tuesdays <laughs> and like yeah you go to chick-fil-a but it's not some daily stop where you're there for like two hours a day you're like there for maybe five minutes a week and i know he's not actually asking us where are we at if we're not at chick-fil-a He's doing like a, hey, you should go to Chick-fil-A type thing. But like, you could have just said that. Friend, how's life? Me, everything's on track. Thanks. The <laughs> he thinks I'm obsessed with him, but my friends called him which one. Rest in peace. Please do not apologize when your dog walks up to me. It is a blessing, an honor, and a privilege. <laughs> the memes aren't that funny. They're like, at most, mildly clever. I mean, I think the laugh is fake, but if it's not, that's great for him. People are in the comments like, oh, how do you think this is funny? If that's funny for him, he's never sad. Because he can just look at all 10,000 memes exactly like this. I have probably not laughed at a picture meme in forever, but you want to see what I used to think was funny? I used to think this was funny because it's a dog wrapped in a Coke label. And because he's tiny and he looks like a Coke bottle... At first glance, you might think it's a Coke bottle, but at second glance, you're like, oh, that's a dog. A Fanta reminds me of a car, because it needs fuel, and my fuel is Fanta. I see this guy on my For You page all the time, and half of the videos are him promoting Fanta. To that guy, Jordy, stop giving them free promotion. Half of your videos on Fanta get like a million views. And you're being so nice about Fanta. Get them to pay you. And why Fanta? When you could have a nice cold can of... Insert sponsored, sponsored soda company that wants to sponsor me. This is me marketing myself. You could have been right there. I could have been holding your can right there. At any soda company. I'm not going to say soda company's names. Because I don't know which one wants to work with me. If any. But if you're out there, this is me marketing myself. I could promote your product. But no. And now it's just me holding nothing. I'm holding air. I'm promoting air. That's it. Sick outlet prank on my roommates. Why would an electrician put an outlet damn near the ceiling? No one's gonna actually believe that's a real outlet. And aren't they your roommates? Wouldn't they know where the outlets actually are? And then you did this. This is just a fake outlet over a real outlet. It would still probably work. They would just have to jam it through like the paper or whatever that's made of. And this is just a sticker on someone's back. I don't think anybody's actually believing that an outlet's on a fucking person. Would you eat this Wagyu steak if you got paid $20 million for it? But the meat came from this cow. Would you still eat it? Yeah, without question, probably. Um, I don't know if you knew this or not, but um, veal uh, is baby cow. And, and most people pay to eat that. They don't get paid to eat that. They pay to eat it. So if you're going to pay me $20 million to eat a baby cow that's already dead... For sure. Also, I'm pretty sure Wagyu is only full-grown cow. Uh, I don't think they do veal Wagyu. Uh, but even if they did, still yes. And everyone in the comments said yes, which I'm pretty sure he didn't expect. So then he made a follow-up video offering 80 million more 
And all he said was, what about this poor sweet cow? Why are you paying me more money if I said I would do it for fucking one-fifth of what you're paying me now? Let me just preface this by saying that the fact that it's filmed at the Wish House just immediately means that it's fake because it's multiple creators and they know each other. If you don't know what the Wish House is, you're living under a rock. Uh, it's the place in LA with a really nice view. All the creators film videos there and they tag the Wish House. Uh, none of them live there. Uh, they just film videos there. It's got a bowling alley and a gym and a nice view and a pool. Hooray. Am I, am I ruining my chances of ever going there? Yeah. Do I give a shit? No. Nevertheless, the video's obviously fake. He's a creator. They're both creators. He knows that they're the twins of Russia. They do this video all the time in public. So he knows that they're filming this. And it's, and it's clearly, they're not, they're not, they're clearly not standing in front of the mirror. The border's right there. So I got a new tattoo the other day. It's a bunch of numbers, 147,534,952.24. And a large majority of you were guessing what it actually was for. Uh, so we're going to go over what it's not first, okay? It is not how many followers I have. I don't have 147 million followers. And it says point two. It says I hit my head on my fucking microwave. It says point two four, right? So how would I have point two four of a fucking person, Okay. It is not my net worth. It is not my IP address. It is not the coordinates to my Minecraft base. It's the distance the sun was from the earth when I was born. It's specific based on the person, based on your day, month, and year you were born. Like I was born in February 6, 2002. It would still be different for somebody in February 6, 2003. Now, somebody asked me if it was in feet. No, it's in kilometers. Kilometers, however you want to say it. If this was in fucking feet, the sun would burn us. Big Fontina, the fuck going on? Hey, hold up, take a moment, come my gua, come my gua. What is right? You should be honored. He's allowing you to watch him play Clash Royale. That means he likes you. And what if he loses? I mean, he's probably not gonna. He's running like balloon zap Tesla. But if he did, he's allowing himself to be vulnerable to you to watch him lose. Ask him to play twos. Ask him to do 2v2s. If he says yes, scour the room for a ring because he's about to propose. Now, thirdly, ask him to play on his account. If he says yes, that is not good. That is not... If he says yes, run. I don't care if y'all are married. You do not play on another person's Clash Royale account, okay? Damn, what are you doing? Cleaning up? Oh no, don't drink the Windex! You do know though that you're supposed to clean the actual Windex bottle before you pour the Hawaiian punch in. And I mean, you took a jump cut so you may have done that, but if not, there still would be Windex in the bottle. And what is he doing? It's like he's playing sock puppets, but there's no sock puppets, it's just his hands. Growing up is realizing that unnecessary cursing is unattractive and downright cringe. Is it all cursing unnecessary? Like, you don't need to say the word fuck. Like, you can substitute something else in its place. But saying the word fuck gives emotion and meaning to, to a statement. I fucking hate Tuesdays. Now, normally I could just say I hate Tuesdays. But that doesn't, that doesn't give it the oomph. That's saying, I fucking hate Tuesdays does. You know what I mean? I actually don't hate Tuesdays. Tuesdays are, I would say, decently enjoyable, comparably to other days of the week. Personally, I think Thursday is the worst day of the week. I hate Thursdays. You get girls? That's easy. You just have to manipulate them. <laughs> you just have to manipulate them. <laughs> 
He was just asking for some basic advice on how to get a girl. Not how to manipulate someone. I'll take the bait, though. I'll snag the line. How are you fucking manipulating someone? Are you tearing down the walls layer by layer? Getting into their mind? You're not the Joker. There's so many guys that say they know how to manipulate women, and I'm like, dude, no, you know motivational interviewing, which is where you're just asking them a string of questions and affirming their own beliefs to where they arrive at your own opinion without you telling them your own opinion. Because if you tell someone your own opinion that disagrees with theirs, that only instills their values harder against yours. But if you ask them a bunch of questions and get them to arrive at your opinion on their own, then they agree with you. That's just psychology. That's, that's, that's how people win political arguments smoothly. Uh, that has nothing to do with women. I don't think this is relatable, but I'm going to say it anyway. Have any of y'all wanted to partake in stealing an ostrich egg, specifically one that is not fertilized, and then running and seeing how long you can last till the ostrich catches you? because they get very protective over their eggs, even if they're not fertilized. And they can also run very fast, like 43 miles an hour fast. And they also weigh a fuck ton. So you're likely not gonna be able to choose between fight and flight. You're just gonna have to choose flight. And then you're just gonna run for your life because trying to tackle a 320 pound ostrich is not going to go well. I think I could last like 20 to 30 seconds before it pecks me or tackles me for the first time. And then from there, I think I could last probably 20 minutes until I died. But I do think that I could mount it like a horse and then like wrap my arms around its neck so it would not be able to thrash me off. Sucked down, but the paint is gonna stick. Yeah. Wow, that's so nice. I'm gonna let you keep doing that, though. I'm not gonna try that myself now. Why can't you just actually spray paint the glass? Like, I understand you're going for like a random pattern, but you could still achieve that by just like randomly spraying the glass. Then you don't have to go through the hassle of putting your wine glass in a toilet and spray painting your toilet because now you gotta clean that shit too. Okay, this goes on top of these. Here we go. This is the magic Rubik's Cube. If I take the Rubik's Cube in my hand just like this and I shake it, if I blow, that Rubik's Cube will collapse into a whole bunch of little pieces. Before I say anything, people always get mad at me that I react to behind-the-scenes magic tricks rather than actual magic tricks because, oh, you're obviously gonna know how it works, it's behind the scenes. I would react to the actual magic video if there was the actual magic video. That one's behind the scenes, that one's behind the scenes, that one's behind the scenes. Like, I can't not react to the behind-the-scenes ones. I just feel like TikTok magic tricks used to be actual tricks, now it's just... Hey, this is how I did the video, but I'm not actually going to show you the original because the original's obviously fake because you can see everything that I'm doing. That's so specific, but I'm right. Oh, that looks so good. It looks brand new. It's a disposable mask that you're holding together with a piece of tape. Just get a different one. It's like not even a nickel for one of them. Or you could have just avoided this entire problem by letting go of one of the strings instead of cutting the mask. 